Weapons intelligence aren't usually late. We could give it another five. You did ask him to come. Yes, I did. And yet, Wizwo came there none. Wizwo! I just like the word. Wizwo! Well, it doesn't seem like he's a weapons intelligence guy, does it? It sounds like he's a wizard. Wiz! And he's just done something amazing. Whoa! Wizwo! Your life in his hands. Incredible. All right, life's too short. I'm going down there. What's on the move? Boss, we've got some chat on icon. What's that? The donkey is walking towards the tiger. Huh? Shit. Boss, let's get out there. The donkey runs like a girl. Just kidding. <laughs> well? They're saying the donkey was walking towards the tiger. He must be the donkey boss. Yes, I... And the tiger is... The bomb. Well done for cracking that impenetrable Taliban code. OK, so, what does this mean? Remote initiation, a command wire? Yeah, but the search team's already had a poke about and didn't find anything, so... Yeah, it could be along a linear feature. A linear feature? He's learning. Bird, linear feature. Get him to check again. Boss, my team can't stop you being blown to bits by a command wire device. But you're not getting shot. Not on my watch. Thanks, son. Comforting. The donkey is checking the time. Donkey! Why can't I be the tiger? They got all this trouble of targeting me and they can't even give me a decent bloody code name. Mm, don't shoot the messenger. No, seriously. Don't. There you go. All done. Let's hope our new Wizwo... Wizwo! ...can help us to... Nutsack! Fucking hell! Nick? Nutsack? Steve Nussel, tower block. You've already met Bird. Yes, we're just Lance saying... Lance Corporal Lensley. Close protection. Yeah, Bird said about a command wire device. Unusual in this terrain. Yes, I know it's unusual. That's why you're here. Yeah, so we reckon we're dealing with an experienced bomber with a working knowledge of our existing render-safe and forensic procedures. Brilliant. So you've uh, totally read the profile I compiled. Do you have any information that, you know, I didn't give you, like, who it is? No idea, mate. Well, I'm so glad you're here. It's good to know you've got my back. Puts you in an ideal position to stick a knife in. Yeah, all right. Just make sure the rest of your team... The rest of my team are fine. OK. Actually, you know what? The rest of my team are better than fine. They're a group of highly skilled individuals who know exactly what they're doing, so thank you. Fuck me. Of course. Of course. Oh. Hurry on. Losing a fiancé, huh? I feel your pain, brother. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> OK. Most likely to get caught dogging. Bart, no question. Uh, what about you, Mac? I would get caught, would I? Uh. Uh. Okay, 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 okay. Most likely to stick a Haribo up his ass to see if you could tell which one it was by the shape. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you actually did that, Rocket, so you. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. <laughs> and you kind of tell. Okay. Uh, most likely to come out as gay. Back! Eh? Oh, seriously? I'm not fucking gay. Ah, see? He's no gay. But the thing is, Rocket, Mac is in denial. No, I'm not. Mac is so keen to call everything and everyone else gay because he has certain feelings that upset and confuse him. Except I don't, because I'm no gay. So if you're completely secure in your heterosexuality, you wouldn't care how you came across. So you'd be happy to call everyone Ducky all day, for example. Fuck off. Ducky, tower block, have you actually ever met anyone who's gay? I've met Mark. <laughs> Fair enough. My great uncle was gay, but you couldn't tell until he married that guy. He never called anyone Ducky, though. Just called everyone pal. Well, let's not get bogged down by authenticity, eh? All right, pal. Hmm. That was him. OK, look, the only way that Matt can prove he's not in denial is to call everyone on the base Ducky all day. Fuck off. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay.
Fuck off. Ducky. <laughs> Better. So as our new Wizwo Wizwo pointed out, this bomber is specifically targeting us. But mainly targeting you, boss. Thank you, Simon. So stay sharp, double check everything. Drills and skills. Okay, Mary. Okay, so I've organised another Mary's Movies Night. Oh, really? Look, I know that some of my film picks have bombed. I mean, uh, sorry. I quite enjoyed Three Colours Red. Face it, Mary, you have no idea what the guy's like. Just trying to broaden some rather narrow horizons. And what cinematic treat do you have for us? Well, I think you're going to like it. It's a bit more soldiery. Atonement. Uh-uh. Yeah. Mary, have you ever actually met any soldiers? Uh, well, I'm a soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Please put something popular on. Atonement won a BAFTA. Always a bad scene. What's a BAFTA? No, look, it's fine if you want to watch mindless Hollywood block. Um, I'm not moving Birds Boogie Night just to avoid clashing with everyone not watching your film. Yeah, and I'm not moving Mary's Movies for an event you hadn't even told me about. Mmm, a standoff. No, okay. We'll have to have both, and we'll just see who comes to what. Fine. Fine. Okay, so team, anything else? Oh, boss, could we run some close protection drills? What with you being targeted? No. Yeah, I'm with Mac on this one. Are you sure, boss? Because if you get killed, how's that going to make me look? Wow. Okay. Uh, boss, look, if this new bomber's on your case, then uh, you and the Wizwell need to get on. Wizwell? It's all right, Harvey. No, I agree, boss. If you are being targeted, you can't be thinking of Warrant Officer Nuttall, you know. It's plowing. Your fiance. Clearly, yeah. Yeah. Look, just go see him. Go face to face. And punch his fucking lights out. Yeah, all right, Tower Block. I know in Tut North you settle all your disputes by glassing your mates outside Tut Pub, but in the civilised world, we talk to each other using words. I'd punch him in the face. I was going to go me nuts, but face could work. Hmm? Good meeting, everyone. Knock, knock. Corporal Bird, Private McGough. Sir. What's up? Everything in hand for Bird's boogie. Could be the King's speech. That was Bobbins. Always a bad sign, BAFTAs, don't you think, Mac? Ah, oh, you're right. Ducky. Carry on. Precious. If you're ready for me, boy, you better push the button, let me know before I get the wrong idea. Okay. Got the forensics from this morning. The donkey is entering the cook house. <laughs> yeah, and I just wanted to um, clear the air. I know we've had our differences, but it's time to move on. Focus on the matter in hand. So, this bomber. Hey, it's so good to hear you say that. Seven years, it's too long not to speak to each other. And I'm sure Marianne would want to say hi. Would she? Okay, well, as long as she's all right. So, um, the wire. <laughs> she's all right. As all right as you can be with twins on the way. That'll be five. Five kids? <laughs> wow. Um, so, uh, the wire. Um, well, it feels like he wants us... To... To know it's him. It feels like he's trying to fuck with my head. Or maybe he's just got a load of orange wire. <laughs> Look, I'm just made up that you want to... You want to move on. You were my best mate. Best mate? You were screwing Marianne behind my back for six months. Oh, so it's all in the past now, then, is it? Come on, Nick. Nicky boy. We're part of the most incestuous trade in the whole fucking army. Speak for yourself. Think about it. You shagged Marianne's sister. Yeah. But only afterwards. And I didn't enjoy it. Much. Oh, what? Bird, you utter bitch. Well, I'm sorry, but she is. We'll hold it up so everyone can see. So, Bart, how come you've got gay porn? Does that mean you're gay? No. Because if you were gay, you'd have porn with girls in it. But that's straight porn. So I just prefer it, all right? It's the real deal, just plain old naked men fucking. Fair news? Bad news, chaps. Film night is cancelled. Oh, oh brilliant. Yeah. Because the projector has mysteriously gone missing. <sighs> Jesus will know where it is. Ask him. So unless whoever's borrowed it decides to return it, then it's all off. Which is such a shame, because I've got a job lot of Pepper Army coming from a Padre and Bastion. Can we have the Pepper Army anyway? No. I just think it's sad. Someone... I haven't taken your fucking projector, all right? Mum? I'm not saying anything. Just whoever it is. It wasn't me, though. Yes, so... but whoever it is. Please, can you stop looking at me when you say whoever it is? Whoever has it could bring it back. It wasn't fucking me, all right? Has anyone else got an erection right now? 
Apart from that guy, obviously. Yes, thank you, Nick. <sighs> anyway, whoever has it should just return it to me. No questions asked, and I won't take things any further. Search for command wires, boss. Nothing. Oh, well, we're unlikely to see two in the same day, anyway. <laughs> Sounds like you're lying on the law of averages there, mate. Yeah, he's right, boss. And he did say we should double-check everything. There you go. Listen to your number two. And then you two can get a room together and you can fuck him like you fucked my fiancé. How about that? Jesus. Sorry, boss. So I, was, I was watching. Vigilance. Yeah. We're just working on some new close protection procedures. Very close, as it turns out. Where's one? Yeah? Uh Nothing? Tatty bite. Boss on the move. You are shitting me. The snake is crawling towards the mango. Bird, find Sergeant Hogg. Tell him to do another search for command wires. Sure. With the side order of fucking find it this time. Yeah, I'll see if they got that. Well, this is going to take an hour. So I'm a snake now, am I? How peachy. Did I say snake? I'm sorry. A better translation would be worm. The worm is crawling toward the mango. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah. Where's my fucking stereo? Mom. Well, where's my actual projector, bird? Corporal? Ah, oh, Audrey. Bird? Missing something? Yes, no. I just... What projector? Sorry, Padre. Had to borrow it in a hurry for a PowerPoint thingy back at the FOB. Theirs was broken. Knew you wanted it back for film night. Yes, thank you, sir. No problem. I think the DVD's still in the box. Oh, no, this is a different one. Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. An atonement seems to be missing. I can't show that. That's not what Mary's Movies is all about. I thought you two were competing for an audience. I'd go with Transformers. Robots in disguise. Not a very good disguise, though, most of the time. Shame. Bird, you stop! This not in here. Look, why don't I see if I can find out who stole your stereo? Get him to put it back, no questions asked. Or her. Get her to put it back. Mom. <laughs> Right, oh dear, you have let yourself down there, Mac. Oh, wet! Are you still on that? We didn't want to be, but. Uh... Casual homophobia is a definite sign of denial. Fuck off! I've already proved I'm very comfortable with a whole range of gay activities. Uh-huh. We could get him to dress up as one of the village people. <laughs> the Red Indian. He's the best one. Might look a bit racist. Yeah, but shame to look a bit racist when you've made such an effort to give a balanced view of gay culture. Hmm. Maybe the construction worker, then. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm no saint, but come on. We're shagging my fiancé. Nick, you just have to forgive him. Is this what they were teaching you at Sandhurst while we were all learning about fighting? You just look him in the eye and you say, I forgive you. Wow. I really must write some of this down. Otherwise, how will I remember the finer details? Cheers, Padre. Boss! Without you knowing, you're already part of a close protection drill. I've primed Mac and Rocky to launch a surprise attack when we least expect it. The idea... Oh! Jesus! Not yet! You said you wanted a surprise? Yes, but surprise! Okay, Simon, I think the key here is uh, 360 degree visibility, yeah? Yeah. Okay, great. So why don't you get up that Sanger and see what the uh, the 360 degree atmospheric 
visibility profile is on me, Mac and Rocket. Great idea! Boom. Good work, soldier. Right. Coffee. Aye. Right. Blast! Blast! I've lost visibility! <laughs> Right, this has actually gone over every inch for command wires twice, boss, and nothing. Well, you had two command wires yesterday. Hey, someone write this guy up for a medal. He totally remembers something that happened yesterday. Simon. Following this morning's exercise, I wondered about a 360-degree viz on that ridge up there. It's a good vantage point, cop. But it hasn't been cleared. But well, we can clear it as we go. I wouldn't advise it. I think I can trust my team to make the right decisions. Trust, mate. Not something you know much about. Simon. You do whatever you think's best. Okay, let's move up! Mark. The leopard is... What is it? The leopard is approaching the turnip. I'm a leopard. I'm a leopard now. Get it! But you haven't even started approaching the turnip. No, no, no. Can we just focus on the fact that I'm a leopard for a moment? Because... Simon. Simon! Simon! I'm nearly there, boss. There's a device up there! Fucking come back or you'll die! Simon, get down! Charlie, Charlie, one, this is Bluestone 4 2. Contact A and D, break out! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Simon! Simon! Back, <coughs> thank fuck! Where's Simon? <coughs> fuck, boys! Okay, get into cover! <laughs> Simon! Simon! Burst! Oh, Jesus! <coughs> Simon! <coughs> Are you okay? Well, I... I am okay! Hey, everyone, stay in cover! Stay sharp! Eyes on! Eyes on! Eyes on! Shit, that was too fucking close. Simon. Boss? Look, I just wanted to apologise for earlier. Letting you go up on that ridge was... Yeah, that's all right, boss. I'm your close protection. It was my call. Yeah, it's just this stuff with nutsack, you know? It's got to me. And I'm sorry. Maybe. You need to forgive him. Oh, you sound like the Padre. And I can't believe you got to be the fucking leopard. <laughs> Steve? Nick? Look. Take him in the nuts! Oh. Sorry, mate. I had to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I know, mate. Fair play. Oh, shit, you got quite a hook there. Look, I know I behave like a complete arsehole, so if you want to have another go, come on. Nah. <laughs> Look, mate, you were Marianne. I mean, well, fair play, you made a go of it, right? But when I proposed to her, I just finished my first tour. Thought it was what I wanted, but could you imagine me, right? the wife, stuck in some shitty army semi, bunch of fucking rugrats snotting and puking all over the place. What? School runs, recorded practice, Saturday night telly. Awful. Never have a chat because you're always knackered. That's my fucking life you're talking about, you wanker! Oh, fuck you, you two fake uh, brick! Uh, uh, Take him and the nuts! Which one? Go ahead! Hi, guys! Help yourself to cover army! Who have you come out, Bob the Builder? It's a wee bit more complicated than that. Nice turnout. Oh. Yeah, thanks, Fred. And my stereo turned out, so yeah. no problem. I mean, oh! Oh, did it? Great. Anyway, no harm done. But it's been a hell of a day, so let's just watch Transformers. Fuck Boogie Night. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Um, guys, shall we begin? Yeah! yeah. Trailers, they're my favourite. I like wee movies. <laughs> How is this? I had a feeling someone would steal it, so I set up the handy cam. Babes? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think we've all seen enough of this. I don't think we have, Mum. Hello. Oh, oh. 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 Now that's entertainment. Get away by the name. Okay. No, sorry. That's it. No more Mary's movie nights. Yeah. I was hoping you'd beg me to keep them. Never mind. Who's up for birth movie nights? Yes. Yeah. Ah, Mary. Just been watching Atonement, cracking film, despite the BAFTA. See you at Boogie Night. If you want to prove that you're not gay, 
and you would have no problem in putting your penis in Rocket's mouth. Eh? I mean, what could be a clearer demonstration that you're entirely comfortable with your own sexuality? All right. But this is the last one. Well, don't I got to say in this? I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you're in denial, mate. You must be gay. Aye, you're gay, Rocket. Am I? Because I don't want to suck Max Cock. Yeah. Aye. Right. It just goes to show you, can't he tell? Sugar Babes! Great choice! Thanks, sir! Alright, I take it back. You do understand what they want more than I do. Thank you! What's the wank bank, eh? What? I don't... Right, well, let's just say that we have different masturbational fantasies. I'm just gonna... What makes you say that? Mac and Tower Block said that I'm in denial. Mac said that. Okay. Uh, rocket sexuality's on a spectrum. And everyone has to work it out on their own. And some people find it much harder to work out than others. So you forgave him then? We forgave each other, didn't we, mate? Yeah. We forgave seven shades of shit out of each other. I'm glad it all worked out. Tell you what, mate. Your padre is proper fit. Don't you fucking dare. Stone 4 2 are back next Thursday at 10. And we've even more new comedy next week on 3 with our impractical jokers making things awkward on Monday at 10. While on Tuesday at the same time, Mike gets a new job and the hot for a rather dangerous daughter in all new pram face.